Welcome back to the Innovation Theater here at the ISSA Show 2021. We are coming to you live from the Innovation Theater all week long, and our next demonstration is with Tom Bergen. He's with Torque, which is also up for an Innovation of the Year Award. Hi, Tom. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tom Bergen, the Healthcare Marketing Director for SD Professional Hygiene. And today I'm going to introduce you to our suite of interactive trainings for healthcare. Specifically, we have two training modules. One is Torque Clean Hands uh, training for healthcare professionals for hand hygiene. And the other is our Torque Clean Hospitals trainings to assist EVS professionals on better consistency and better hygienic outcomes in the cleaning of hospitals. So a little bit of the journey about why we're doing this. Well, one, the challenge of HAIs, healthcare-associated infections, is very, very big. Uh, you can see from this slide just the numbers, and quite frankly, they're daunting. HAIs affect anywhere from five to 10 patients in the United States. They're gonna be affected of 80,000 deaths a year. And also, you can see we're talking over $500 million in, in costs occurred by healthcare systems. So the challenge of HAIs is very big, and it's also a very complex problem. And according to the World Health Organization, the best way we can help present, uh, prevent HAIs is via better hand hygiene compliance. Also, the best way is to break the chain of infection through having safer and cleaner uh, healthcare facilities. So that's the challenge of why we did it. The other thing that came up that, well, why this challenge is so important and why we're looking at cleaning hands and, and cleaning surfaces is within, uh, the, recently SCA did a survey as a result of COVID looking at what the perceptions of hygiene are. And you can see from this stat, seven out of 10 people are expecting hospitals to be cleaner post the pandemic. In addition to that, we surveyed nurses and doctors and 80% of them are looking for ways to increase their hand hygiene compliance. So that is the back when we thought about to ourselves, what are some of the ways we can do it? Well, we can do it obviously via products, uh, but another way we can do it is helping them get more consistent in their outcomes via training. So what we did is really take a look at how can we get better training and better outcomes to make sure we're getting better consistency. With that, one of the things we started with is how do you train? Being a corporate person like everyone in the audience here, I'm, we're mildly familiar with PowerPoint. But as you can see, our cone of learning, how we retain knowledge for, for usage later on, definitely shifts depending upon how we're learning. And one of the biggest ways, the best way you can get retention is by seeing and doing, simulation. So the very interesting thing, or to give you a good real world example, think about pilot training in the United States and abroad. What is the number one thing pilots do before they ever get in an airplane? They do through a very robust suite of simulator training, walking through actual real life scenarios on how they can do their job and work through their procedures and emergencies that might come up. They're learning by doing but they're also learning by doing in a very safe environment. And that's what we're trying to accomplish with our trainings. So the approach we took was really, how can training in hand and surface hygiene really help? And in order to do that, we are definitely one of the hygiene experts in terms of towel, tissue, napkins, and, and, and skincare products. But we also worked with other leading experts, doctors and nurses who are uh, very, very much involved in hand hygiene, and we also worked with AHE, the Association for the Healthcare Environment, on better ways and better practice guidance for hospital cleaning. And the other thing, we talked to behavioral scientists, and that also led us to the simulation-based uh, approach that we did. So with this collaboration in place, we launched these two training modules. The first that I mentioned, Torque Clean Hospitals Training, it's available in two formats. The first is virtuality-based, the most immersive way to learn. And second is a desktop version that is mainly designed to help with accessibility, getting more people using it, getting more people trained, to getting more people getting better outcomes. The way the game works is you select either a physician or a nurse, and it walks you through real life care scenarios. As a nurse, you're gonna be changing out an underpad. You're gonna be changing a wound dressing. You're gonna deal with emergencies. And the whole thing basically gives you positive reinforcement about when you're achieving your hand hygiene moments and also pointing out when you miss a hand hygiene moment. And in the end of the game, it gives you very good, robust feedback about where you need to improve. Because if you think about hand hygiene compliance, it's not a race to 100% and perfection. 
it's actually a challenge to just get better and better. If a nurse or a doctor can find one or two moments where they can be better, the impact on their hand hygiene compliance and eventually HAI compliance is going to be staggering. So the other thing we, we'd like to point out about this, we launched the VR about two years ago, and most recently this year we introduced the desktop version. To date, we've had already over two, uh, 10,000 downloads of the app, and also we've been peer-reviewed in a, in, a in a journal looking at e-health modules that are, helping, uh, that are designed to help uh, cleaning professionals. And if you'd like a live demo, please just stop by our booth uh, right, down, right down the road there at, three, at booth 3029. Our next training module is Torque Interactive Clean Hospitals Training. As I mentioned earlier, this one was designed by utilizing AHE's practice guidance for EVS professionals. They are the experts in, in hospital cleaning, and they're uh, very big, uh, good partners of ours as well. This is a desktop version. We designed it for accessibility because these are rather large teams. Second thing we did is we walked through very highly visual and engaging scenarios. The two scenarios that the, the teams will work through is a cleaning room turn of an occupied patient room and also a cleaning room turn on a discharge room, which have different procedures in place. And what you're trying to do there is basically make sure you're following the best practice guidance. Make sure you're doing uh, your cleaning in a very predictive manner, either counterclockwise or clockwise. Making sure you're cleaning from clean to dirty, and also making sure you're hitting all your high touch surfaces, as an example. Uh, when, you're, when you're done this one, it gives you constant feedback on how well you did, in particular on those high touch surfaces where we see the most transmission of infection. Again, we have the demos available for our booth, uh, over for you in our booth uh, 3029. So why is this important? Training is all about making sure you're replicating those behaviors and really making sure you're having a lasting impact. So you need to make sure it's interactive and it's engaging, that it sticks with the individual and it really helps them get better at what they do. Secondarily, you need to make sure you're giving really good reinforcement, making sure they understand when the, the task was completed correctly, and more important, making sure they can recognize those, mo those moments where they can improve. And last, accessibility. So like I mentioned, we have the VR version to get that best-in-class training experience, but also desktop versions to make sure you can get reach within your facility. With that, I'm going to play a quick video about our uh, programs. So if you have any questions, please stop by our booth, 3029, and we can walk you through a demonstration or, ask you, or answer any questions you might have about this program and also get you more materials. So with that, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for your time and attention. And remember, if we can just help these doctors and nurses and the EVS professionals get a little bit better and better every day, we'll get there uh, and, and continue to uh, reduce the uh, HAI rates in the United States. Thank you.